So you'd like to start a YouTube channel and you have less than 200 subscribers or maybe even 100 subscribers. That's cool. I just hit about 200 subscribers. Um, this is a little while ago. I've got like 205, I don't know, something like that. So I decided to chronicle uh, my journey here, uh, maybe to help some other people out with maybe an idea of how I got started with all of this. I've had another YouTube channel for like 11 years and it hasn't really done much, but I haven't done anything to try to build it. I put a couple of videos a year up, um, just, just for fun, actually, um, just for something to add to my sort of um, internet presence. Never did much with it. I think the platform's growing a lot, and I think YouTube's pretty awesome, uh, and it seems like the right time to get involved in doing it, so that's kind of why I'm taking this more seriously now. Um, first of all, my name is Drew Bentley. The channel is called Learn Guitar with Drew, if you play guitar or know a guitar player. Um, I do lesson videos and lessons, uh, uh, videos on gear reviews and performances and other such things. So if that sounds good, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Click the bell for notifications. And in the comment section down below, you'll find links for my websites and other guitar resources. I'll do more of these chronicling um, videos as I move along next time we hit a milestone, hopefully sooner than later. Um, okay, so the backstory is that I've been teaching guitar for like almost 25 years as my full-time job and I thought that this would be a great time to take this to uh, to YouTube. Um, hopefully I have a lot of things to say and to kind of help people with guitar lessons. And uh, YouTube's just growing so much. It's such an awesome thing. Everybody's on YouTube all day long, every day. So it seems to be the right time to, to do a channel. So if you have a niche, whatever that is, um, maybe you like to, uh, I don't know, a cooking channel or something maybe maybe whatever your your thing is uh, this is definitely the right time to put something on there to try to grow a channel um so that's kind of my backstory and that's sort of the reason I'm doing this uh, I think it's going to be um, good I can help people maybe get better at guitar maybe I can have uh, a larger impact in guitar playing in general than I have um, I've been so fortunate for so many years to teach so many people guitar lessons, like thousands of kids and adults guitar lessons, and I hopefully made a difference in some people's lives, but I think I can make a greater impact by making the videos and doing it online, and hopefully that's a, a better thing for everybody involved. Okay, so how, do, how did I do this so far? What have I done so far to get this far? The first thing is, uh, is some of these are obvious and some may be not so obvious. I asked my friends and my family if they'd be interested in subscribing. I pretty much look for people that play guitar already or people that know people that play guitar. I didn't really want to just kind of blanket, like, ask every single person ever knew in my entire life. Like, you know, ask, like, my grandma or ask, I don't know, somebody that would never be interested in guitar lessons ever to su subscribe. Just kind of people that I thought it might be something that might fit into their uh, to their world or somebody that they knew into their world. I also asked um, some former students of mine uh, that I knew I had a great connection with over the years. I haven't gone through my entire role of uh, all the students I've ever taught, like all of my schedules. I could probably do that <clears throat> at some point, but I pretty much asked the people that I knew that um, I had a really good connection with so far. Now, there's a lot more people. If I've left you out, I apologize. There's a lot of people I had a great connection with over the last 20-something years. I just have to kind of dig a little bit and look through some of my records and be like, oh yeah, I really enjoy teaching that person. Maybe they'd be interested in guitar lessons. But I've done a little bit of work like that to try to find people that I could that might be interested. You might be able to get your first 25 subscribers or 50 subscribers that way uh, to kind of get the ball rolling uh, rather than rely completely on strangers and well, not strangers, but people on YouTube that you don't know yet uh, to to build your channel. So that's the first thing that I did um, to try to get like a, a core. Um, Fan, like um, a base of uh, uh, of subscribers and of a family that that I could get moving here with this channel. So once you do that and you get through that uh, list of people, now you're you're looking for uh, to people that you don't know yet to to build the channel, and that's when things get a little bit harder. I think it's a little bit different, uh, difficult once you get past kind of the core tribe. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. I really appreciate it. I hope you're getting a lot out of this this uh, channel. I, I love teaching these lessons on here and um, I'll put more and more stuff up. I try to post videos all the time. So uh, that's, you know, thank you so much for being here. Uh, so the next thing is uh, I watched a lot of videos about YouTube. Now that sounds also very, pretty obvious, but there's so many great uh, videos about suggesting how to actually do what we're trying to do here through YouTube. So I have uh, committed myself to watching a great number of videos and I've gotten to know a lot of these uh, YouTubers pretty well uh, as far as their, their content and their personalities and things. 
and uh, learning a lot just by through osmosis, just by watching what other people are doing. Uh, I've never really done that before. I always kind of just watched the things I was interested in, like guitar playing and guitar gear and guitar this and guitar that. But this is really, um, there's a lot of help out there to, to learn how to grow a YouTube channel. So just definitely do your homework that way and look around to see what you can find. That's the next thing I did. The, the probably maybe the most important thing I did was I decided to build this set that you're looking at here. So for a long time, I thought about YouTube casually, but I never really had a great space to make the, the, the videos. So I uh, kind of, with my help from my wife, we painted the room. I hung the guitars up. Um, I have, I picked really good lights so I can get great lighting. Um, I worked on camera stuff. I worked on the, getting the microphone just right and the sounds just right. And it took a while to figure out how to run all of the guitar gear to go directly into a recording device so that there's no outside noise. Uh, luckily, I have this Fractal Audio Axe FX behind me, so that's been great for being able to go direct into the videos. It's fantastic for that. And I've got a mixer I bought for this particular specific project and uh, different connections. I did a lot of homework to try to figure out how to actually make the sound sound right and the lighting and the angles and the studio space itself. So. I had to do a lot of work when it came to just getting this to the point where the videos look decent. I didn't want to film in my garage, you know, like just take a, a video in my kitchen necessarily or something. You know, if I could go to a mountaintop, that'd be cool. Take a video on top of like Mount Everest or something. But I just didn't want to have random videos in my random space with randomness and random random. I wanted to look professional as I could uh, with what I could afford to do right now. So that was another thing. The set was a big deal and the, the gear involved in making the videos. So there's a, again, um, I'm sure there's a ton of videos about those types of things too. I didn't really watch that many of those. I kind of just went with my gut with that. But um, it's a process and I'm learning as I go. It gets better and better as I move along here. Okay, so the next thing I did was I, I uh, got TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy and also VidIQ. Uh, these are two services that will help you to learn all about things like search engine optimization, which is a kind of a something I always knew about, but I never really studied it all. It's like one of those kind of things, like when you buy a book and you never read the book, it just sits on the bookshelf and you're like, yeah, I have that book. But it doesn't do any good if you don't look into it and read, you know, study it. So it does nothing for you to just have it. I've always heard about SEO and for my websites and things, I just kind of blew it off. I'm not blowing it off now. So uh, you learn about tags and titles and keywords. These are really important things and tools the way that Google and YouTube, uh, the you know, subsidiary of Google, the way that they rank videos and look for videos and searches work and things. So vidIQ and TubeBuddy are great tools. They're not super expensive and they're very, very helpful for you, uh, for anybody to try to make videos. This is, I think, is video number 30 that I've done on this channel so far and it's getting better and better in that sense too and figuring out that kind of how those things work so the next thing is uh consistency this i've been doing about three videos a week i'd like to do seven I, I, that's my goal ultimately is to do a video a day like you know until i stop breathing but three videos a week is where i'm at right now it's been about 10 weeks i think that i've been actively doing this and so that's pretty good. Um, I could do better, but it's it's okay. It's enough consistency to, I think, to to always be sort of relevant. Um, so you want to kind of get a schedule, uh, try to post videos at the same time of the day when I do it. I'm not completely on schedule yet. I mean, honestly, I'm still working on this completely trying to figure it all out too. But three videos a week is where I'm at right now. That's pretty good. Um, and so that will also help with all of the, the rankings and things like that, which you'll learn about with uh, vidIQ and the TubeBuddy thing, plus watching a ton of videos on YouTube about how to make videos on YouTube. Uh, the next thing is I shared uh, and still share, will, will, will share, um, things with Facebook groups. I found a lot of Facebook groups that are involved in what I do. And I share with those Facebook groups. I share it on my Twitter feed. I share it on Reverb Nation. I share it on um, my websites, my two official uh, like band artist websites. I share it with, um, I have not shared it yet with my mailing list. I have a giant email list. I have yet to do that. See, there's always another step. I got to do that still, but I haven't done that yet. But I, I share it with, um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, Instagram and also Instagram as well. So when I make a new video, I make a little video about the video and then I put that on those platforms. 
hopefully as, after you do that enough people start to recognize that and come over here to YouTube to watch the videos because that's kind of where you want them to be um, you can embed things I embed them in my own websites but I don't really embed them on Facebook I just kind of like put a teaser on Facebook and then bring people over here if they watch the teaser I also started a Facebook group for this YouTube channel which I thought was pretty cool uh, then people can join the group and then they get interested and maybe they'll come over here to watch the videos so I'm trying to, to trying to you know get people to channel their way over here and ultimately channel their way back to my websites maybe buy some records buy some CDs albums maybe buy some merchandise you know it's kind of a big uh, cyclical thing but the YouTube lessons are great as an artist this is one of the greatest things ever right so I'm a guitar player and I make records like most musicians do but when you make a record it's a big deal it costs so much money it takes such a long time and you have to have such a huge investment of time and money and resources and when you make a video I mean it costs a lot of money maybe to to get set up here I had to spend some some money and some time to get the whole machine rolling but once you get it rolling you can make a video and you can have something new in the world like three times a week or seven times a week even for that matter whereas if you make an album if you're lucky you get one out a year I'm not that guy I mean I'm like I'm like on the five-year plan for making records it's really involved to make a CD it takes a lot of work so if you want to get some new uh, stuff out there just for your creative um, flow as an artist we want to create things and it's really really time-consuming and difficult to make records quality records like really good albums that are like you know with the best producer you could possibly afford the best manager not manager the best recording engineer the best studio the best everything but you make a video you can do that a lot more and so you get that sort of feeling of accomplishment you've actually done something creative and put something into the world that maybe will give somebody some value versus making a record every five years which I'll still do anyways so that's a great thing. Another suggestion is to get some help. I've got somebody behind the scenes who's helping me learn the ropes with the programs and how to do the videos and how to do different things. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, some There's lots of people that know about these things that can help you uh, along the way. Uh, people are always wanting, willing to get involved with something that's a positive experience and it will help them and help you and help everybody involved. So don't be afraid to ask for help if you, have, if you need help. Um, another thing is to go to channels of people that do what you do or what you want to do and see what they're doing. Now, admittedly, I've not done this enough. I've been teaching guitar for such a long time. I definitely have my own thing, like my own way of doing it. And I don't want to watch too much because I don't want to kind of change what I do. Because I think what I do is, you know, it's me. It's, it's pretty cool. It's my own way of doing things. But I have watched a few uh, videos and a few uh, kind of ideas of what other people who are doing what I'm doing are doing on their channels in the same sort of niche so that I can get an idea of what works and what doesn't work and, and how they go about their process not the actual content itself necessarily but just the process and how it works um, ultimately the most important thing of this entire talk here is to be yourself you have to be yourself um, when I first got in front of the camera I was paralyzed it was terrifying the first video is I look like scared it's funny now I don't even care it's like two months later and I'm talking to the camera like I'm talking to my best friend it's it's not a big deal anymore I'm not afraid of stammering I'm not afraid of uh, saying silly stupid things and making mistakes and looking like a doofus it doesn't matter because you have to be yourself anyway so ultimately you can't be some scripted version of yourself I don't even have a script right now I'm reading off of like some general bullet points that I wanted to cover I can't be that scripted person. I'm not very good at reading a script and being, uh, a, you know, being personable, being myself. So you'll learn to be yourself. You have to make a bunch of videos. The more videos you make, the less you're going to care about whether you make mistakes or not and whether you're perfect or not, because nobody's perfect. Nothing's perfect. Um, so that's kind of the, the most important thing is the more you do it, the less you're feeling awkward about doing it. And then maybe the better the videos are. So at 200 videos right now and about 10 weeks in, now what I can suggest again is to ask your friends and your family to support you look for people that are into what you're doing like if you decide you're going to teach people how to fish in a dry lake bed you can find some people that want to do that and I'm just being completely stupid and silly here but you're looking for whatever whatever it is you do if it's a cooking channel or if maybe if it's like a a channel for uh, how to find pet ancestry like you know I'm again I'm just being silly but like whatever your channel is whatever you're into look for those uh, people in your life who may be interested and see if they're going to support you next thing is 
I watch tons and tons of YouTube videos about how to make YouTube videos because there's a lot of really smart people out there, like the Think Media guy. He's pretty awesome. I can't remember his name right now. And Rob from VidIQ. Those videos are great. There's so much information that you can get from them. You can really learn a lot. Um, work on trying to get a consistent set that you can have your videos every time. Work on the camera and the lighting and the angles and the production quality. It'll just get better and better and better. You just got to start now and start making videos. And even if they are in your kitchen or they are in your garage, it doesn't matter. It's better to make a video like of something than nothing. But try, for me, it was important to get a consistent set. Um, TubeBuddy and VidIQ were huge, uh, just still are huge. I'm just beginning to learn, crack it, like just the top layer of the onion of how all this stuff works with SEO and keywords and tags and titles and all those things. But I think it's fascinating. I think it's really, really fun learning about cards and other, other things that you can do to try to get people to get into your stratosphere of videos and watch your videos and stay on your channel. It's exciting. I think it's great. The next thing is maybe um, the most important thing is you have to have maybe a, you know, a kind of a reason to do it. For me, it's just I want to share everything I know about guitar with everybody. Uh, I've been teaching guitar for such a very long time and playing guitar for way longer. I feel like I've got some things to say and I'd like to say it to more people and maybe help more people get better at guitar and do what I love. So I've got a purpose. I've got a sort of a mission here to, to try to do this to make it successful because I really enjoy it and I think I can help some people. Uh, the next thing is to share it with your uh, Facebook on Facebook if you can find Facebook groups that, that are into what you're into. Twitter, uh, like I said, Instagram, um, I do um, my own websites. Anywhere I can share these videos and the links to the videos, I'll do that to try to bring people into the channel. Uh, the next thing is to watch other channels of people that do what you want to do and see what they're doing and then you can get ideas from them and help yourself grow and then most importantly is to learn just to be yourself on camera you can't be anybody else anybody else but yourself you have to be yourself you have to be you and it's so easy to uh fall in the trap of just kind of scripting a, a you know kind of a, a fake version of yourself just be real make mistakes be goofy be silly whatever it doesn't matter because we're all people and everybody who's watching these uh, videos wants to feel like they can connect with you, I think. So be yourself. That's your best bet. You know, you spent your whole life developing a personality. You might as well be yourself on camera because that's who you are, right? So anyways, thank you so much for checking out the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That will really help uh, support me and help this channel grow. Again, there's guitar lessons and there's gear reviews and performances and lots of guitar stuff on here. Uh, and I'll make another milestone video next time I can. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section or any comments about the video or things you'd like to add to the conversation. And as usual, and as always, I cannot wait to see you at the next lesson.